I was on a Blender forum earlier today, and someone asked how one combines one armature with another. And it's actually a very simple process. Just like you would do with geometry or objects, let's say I had a cube and a cube, and I wanted these two cubes to become one. Basically, I choose a cube that I want to follow another cube, Shift select the cube I want to follow, and I press Control J on my keyboard to join the object. And basically, what it does it takes the shape, the mesh shape that's inside of one, and it basically moves it to the other and basically removes the object. It's that simple, so we only have one object instead of two. So, when you're combining armatures, it's essentially the same thing. You have your two armatures. I have two armatures here. I have armature for my chibi and my armature for the wings behind it. So two separate, two separate models, two separate rigs. So you don't have to combine the mesh. That's unnecessary. So select each armature in object mode. First select, I'm going to select the wings first because I want those to basically connect to my main armature and be absorbed into it. And then I shift select that armature. Press Control J, and then that's it. They're combined. Now I just have one armature left. But combining them isn't enough. They also need to be connected and within the hierarchy. So I basically need to tab into Edit, and I need to take the root of the chains that I've created for my wings, and I need to connect them to something in the main armature's hierarchy. They are part of the main armature now, but they don't necessarily follow it. If I switch into pose mode, for example, and if I rotate, you can see the wings do not follow the body. And that's because they have no association within the hierarchy. They're just part of the same object, which is not enough to make them follow the deformation of the overall structure. So, while in that mode, I'm going to select the root of each wing chain. And for now, I'm just going to connect it right here to the, essentially the ribs or the base of the spine. Normally, I might connect them into the clavicles, but if I want to keep them independent of the clavicles, I'm just going to connect them to the spine. So I'm just Control P, and I'm going to parent them, keeping offset. This allows them to be part of the hierarchy without snapping or displacing those bones. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, when you are joining two armatures together, you want to make sure that the object of each armature, the origin of each armature, is the same. So that nothing gets displaced or snapped or moved. You want to make sure that they have a common origin point. And that's pretty easy to do with any object. You can just select it, press Control A, and choose location. And what it'll do is it'll apply, uh, it'll take the origin and basically snap it to the grid zero position. And that way, the armature will have the same position, so it won't displace the armature to join or snap or throw off any of the weights that exist for the objects already associated. Now, speaking of weights, if we look at our wings, and now that this, the wings are part of the main rig, if I rotate my rig forward, you can see that the geometry of the wings no longer follows. And that's because while they are still weighted, they're, in, they're not associated with the correct armature anymore. So we just need to fix that. So switch to object mode, select the geometry of the armature that you basically joined into your existing one. And you need to go into your modifier history, find armature. And under where it says object, choose the existing armature that you want to connect to. And all the weighting should, should still be there. And it'll just update and snap just like you did there. Now, one thing you want to make sure that you've done is in your original armature before you even do the join, make sure that all of the joints have unique names because if any of the names in the second armature 
conflict with any MV1 you're actually joining it to, then the weights will be assigned to the one you're joining it to, or associated with the ones you're joining it to. It won't be associated with the one you're joining into it. And so it'll throw off uh, your skin weights. So make sure that all of your bones have unique names, each and every bone, not the armatures themselves, the individual bones. And one other quick tip, uh, when it comes to the armature and your modifiers, it's usually a good idea to have your armature higher in the hierarchy of your modifier history so that its influence affects it on the lowest level before all the smoothing and for all, for all the deformers or bevels or any of that stuff. So that when you're actually adjusting weight, you, you know exactly what it's doing and where it's doing it. Also, it's a good idea to tell it to preserve volume so it doesn't collapse as easily. 